वी आर गोइंग टू रीड फ्रॉम श्री नामाष्टक श्लोका टू एंड जस्ट अ रिविजन ऑफ फर्स्ट श्लोका निखिल श्रुति मौली रत्न माला द्युति नीराजित पाद पंक जांत ऐ मुक्त कुल रूपास्य मानम परितस्वाम हरिनाम संश्रयामी निखिल श्रुति मौली रत्न माला दैट द उपनिषद्स द उपनिषद्स आर द क्राउन ज्वेल्स ऑफ द वेदस ऑफ ऑल द वेदस एंड दे देम सेल्फ आर द रत्न माला द स्ट्रिंग ऑफ जेम्स एंड देयर द्युति देयर रेडियंस इज वर्शिपिंग बाय देयर रेडियंस देयर कॉन्स्टेंटली वर्शिपिंग नी राजित मीन्स वर्शिपिंग पाद पंक जांत द एंड ऑफ द टिप्स ऑफ द टोज ऑफ द लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्णा एंड द होली नेम ऐ मुक्त कुलैर उपास्य मानम ओ हरि नाम यू आर बींग वर्शिप बाय द होस्ट ऑफ लिबरेटेड पीपल लाइक नारद एंड सुखदेव गोस्वामी परितस्वाम हरिनाम संश्रयामी आई टेक फुल शेल्टर ऑफ यू ओ हरिनाम नाउ इफ हरिनाम आफ्टर हियरिंग दिस प्रेयर सेज नो यू आर वेरी स्विनफुल हाउ कैन आई गिव शेल्टर टू यू देन दिस श्लोक आव स्पोकन बाय शिला रूप गोस्वामी so anticipating the objection by holy name how can i shelter you who are overcome with sinful reactions he states the text beginning jay are you able to understand this point if the holy name raises an objection that you are when you sinful i am being worshiped by people who are liberated you are not liberated you are highly sinful how can i give you shelter so anticipating that objection from the holy name Chila uh, Rupa Goswami is saying this shloka that the holy name is also the shelter of those who are very sinful. So, uh, what does he say? It is clear from Hari Bhakti Vilas eleven point five thirty to five forty five and Chila Vishwanath Chakravarti's comment on Gita seven point twenty eight that firm and pure devotional service to the Lord, dhrud or shuddha bhakti can only be executed by those who are free from sinful reactions. Therefore, this objection has been raised. You understand this point? In 7.28, it is mentioned, "Yesham tu ant gatam papam jananam punya karma nam te dwand moha nirmukta bhajante mama dradbrata." Those who have a lot of backup of piety and their sinful actions have been destroyed, they serve the Lord without with full determination and without any illusion, without any duality. Today I will do, tomorrow I will not do. That is not there. Why? Because they have a strong faith. When you have a strong faith, we don't worry about the dualities. so the strong faith has arising because of pure pure life or life which gives piety and which is free from sin so seeing that that this is the standard so a person who is sinful how can he take shelter of the holy name so that is the cause that is the reason why this objection is possible so then he says that who can you can chant after me okay now my please chant जय नाम धेय मुनि वृंद गेय हे जय नाम धेय मुनि वृंद गेय हे जन रंजनाय परमाक्षरा कृते जन रंजनाय परमाक्षरा कृते त्वम नादराद पि मना गुदीरिता त्वम नादराद पि मना गुदीरिता निखलो ग्रताप पटलिम गेन कम कर दीजिए इसका गेन बहुत बढ़ा हुआ शायद चेक कीजिए कहा से है जय नो नो इट इज डिफरेंट वन यू हेल्प अर आउट नो मैम स्विच ऑफ दिस माइक आई डोट नो वॉट इज है हाँ उसको ऑफ कर दीजिए अभी ऑन कीजिए फिर से अपना वाला माइक ऑन कीजिए ओके हाँ नाउ इस अगेन कमिंग यू रिड्यूस द गेन ऑफ दिस माइक जय नाम धेय मुनि वृंद गेय हे जय नाम धेय मुनि वृंद गेय हे जन रंजनाय परमाक्षरा कृते रंजनाय परमाक्षरा कृते त्वम नादराद पि मना गुदीरित त्वम नादराद पि मना गुदीरित निखिलो ग्रताप पटलिम विलुम पसी निखिलो ग्रता पटलिम विलुम पसी आई विल चांट द होल श्लोक एंड यू चांट आफ्टर मी 
जय नाम धेय मुनिवृंद गेय हे जन रंजनाय परमक्षरा कृते त्वनादरादी मना गुदीरित निखलोग्रतापटलि विलुंपसी जय नाम धेय मुनिवृंद गेय हे जन रंजनाय परमक्षरा कृते त्वनादरादी मना गुदीरित निखिलोग्रतापटलि विलुंपसी ओके ओ होली नेम O one sung by the sages O one who has assumed a form of transcendental syllables for the pleasure of your people all glories to you upon being pronounced slightly even out of disrespect you destroy all the terrible miseries of the chanter that means you will des- you have the potency to destroy all the sinful reactions so i can still take shelter of you okay so now let's see जय नाम धेय अंडरस्टैंड ऑल जय मीन्स वेरी इजी ऑल ग्लोरिस टू यू एंड नाम धेय मीन्स ओ होली नेम मुनिवृंद गेय गेय मीन्स संग और विच इज सपोज टू बी संग सो मुनिवृंद वृंद मीन्स ग्रुप भक्त वृंद सो मुनिवृंद मीन्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ मुनीस मुनि मीन्स अ पर्सन हु कैन डिसर्न वॉट इज गुड एंड वॉट इज बैड वॉट इज स्पिरिचुअल वॉट इज मेटीरियल so muni vrind ge ha indicates that the, the the great munis have have understood the spiritual nature of the holy name and that's why they are constantly singing the glories of the holy name so first one is clear naam dheya muni vrind ge ha jana ranjanaya jana ranjanaya for making people happy ranjan means happiness so manoranjan we say manoranjan happiness of mind so janaranjan means make for making for giving pleasure to the people param akshara krite param highest akshar means syllable and akriti means form you have assumed the form of transcendental syllables hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama ram ram hare hare so they appear to be 32 syllables so the lord has has assumed the form of syllables it is lord but he has assumed the form of syllables is it understood because if this point is clear then you will be able to understand the commentary as well i am repeating this point paramakshara krite is understood by our devotees here that the lord just like the lord expands himself and becomes his various expansions and incarnations and they are all transcendental similarly the lord out of his mercy to give pleasure to the people has assumed the form of these syllables now the question is when has he assumed eternally it's like that it's not that the lord's name has been created at some point of time but that's how it is explained it is the naam expansion is a syllable expansion of the of of lord shri krishna it is sachidanand chidatmak spiritual the name should never be accepted as material that will be an offense to the holy name just like if you say the the form of krishna is material then it's an offense similarly if you think hari krishna mantra is a is a material vibration then also it's an offense to the holy name so that's why we should hear the tattva of the holy name clearly janaranjanaya paramakshara kriti and that's why you see is practically seen when devotees do sankirtan people who don't even understand the meaning of the kirtan they begin to dance joyfully on their own it's not that they are being choreographed कोरियोग्राफी समझते हैं सो दे दे आर दे आर मैन कोरियोग्राफी इज देर यू डांस लाइक दिस यू स्माइल लाइक दिस बट डिवोट इज वेन दे चैंट एंड डांस दे आर नॉट कोरियोग्राफ्ड डांसिंग राधर अब फिल्म स्टार एक्चुअली केम टू वृंदावन एंड ही सेज एंड फिल्म आई एम पेड टू स्माइल एंड वृंदावन आई एम ऑटोमेटिकली स्माइल you and what is his name oberai mr vivek oberai ha oberai he gave the statement anyways the plastic smile they say but actually when a person gets purified to or to the degree he has got purified by chanting he can experience the pleasure of chanting there was a devotee i know i met him personally also very very old devotee maybe in 80 90 years so one time he was saying fakir mohan prabhu so he said i was chanting in my room i am getting so much pleasure i did not want to go anywhere 
Sometimes his the style of speaking, but it was very, very nice and humble Vaishnava. He was serving Radha Madhav, who was the deities of uh, Shila Bhakti and Thakurji. Sometimes it may appear to us, Kabi hoiga kya? Will it ever happen to us? But the Lord has assumed the form of the syllables just to please you, please individually all of us. And then he, he says, not only that, you are so merciful, Tvam, that means you, Anadarad Api, Adar means respect and Anadar means disrespect. So even if a person ch chant Manag Udir, Manag is, what does that Manag means? Manag means slightly. So slightly and Udiritam matlab upon being pronounced. So even if you are pronounced disrespectfully, you must understand what is this disrespectful utterance. Many times if a musician is asked, what is the name of your uh, guru? Then he will, will hold his hands on, uh, will hold his ears with his hand and says, our guru is uh, whatever, Ustad, whatever. What are the name? Amzad Ali Khan or something like that. I don't know what name has to be given. So they will take the names with a lot of respect. If he is asked, okay, what is the name of your spiritual master? We say His Holiness Radhana Swami or His, uh, his Divine Gide Srila Prabhupada. Is it not? So when we are taking the name of a person who is respectful, respectable, we take it with respect. You understand? He is a very exalted person. But if I just am not conscious and just take the name like this, so we can also chant, chant the name in an another way. And that means not another. I am saying another. Another means disrespectfully. Like, I mean, like Krishna Ladni is very young to me. So, so I, I'm not saying Krishna Ladni Mataji. I will say Mataji, but I can say Krishna Ladni is stupid. <laughs> sometimes I can say like that. But it's, it's just for joke. She's not stupid. She's a very good devotee. But sometimes we can say like that. Like sometimes our seniors say, Hey, Shubha. <laughs> My name is not Shubha. My name is Shubha Krishna Das. But our president can say like this, Shubha. Or something like that. Even some other form like that. So, so even in that sense, if the name is chanted, Completely disrespectfully. Then also Nikhal Ugra. Nikhal means complete. And Ugra means heavy. Heavy, heavy. And Tap means suffering. So even if you are chanted disrespectfully, you remove the very heavy sufferings of uh, Patalim Vilumpasi. Vilumpasi means destroyed. So Patalim, I am exactly not able to understand what is the meaning of Patalim. It has been translated as Patalim Vilumpasi. Uh, where is it? Nikalogra Tap Patalim Vilumpasi. All of the terrible miseries of the chanters. So Tap Patalim, I am not able to understand. Patalim, I have a Patliputra, I got the answer. <laughs> but if you have some dictionary, you can find it out what is the meaning of Patalim. I've, I do not find. But anyhow, what I can understand the phrase is Nikalogra Tap Patalim. Maybe it is the. I don't know. I cannot speculate. In the Sanskrit dictionary, I did not find the word. Patlim. I'll ask Prabhu also directly. What does Patlim means? Nikhal Ugratap Patlim. So that what we understand? All of the terrible miseries of the chanter are Vilumpasi or destroyed. Now it's very interesting. All of the terrible miseries of the chanter. I will not speculate. I'll I'll find it out tomorrow and I'll try to explain to you. But essence is, is that the, all the suffering of the person who has chant who's chanting the holy names, even disrespectfully are destroyed. Vilumpasi is very interesting. Vilump, lump, vilump. Mask. Is it like that? From where have you searched this? Okay. Let's see what does it mean. Do some research. research. Potalim. Mass. So, so okay, it makes, it makes sense to me. Anyways, he's not able to detect the language also. So, we'll leave it for now. But I, I, if it is Patalim is, means mass, then it means, okay, fine. A whole group of, whole mass of sinful reactions are destroyed. So, it's very, it, 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 uh, it shows the very merciful nature and very powerful nature of the Lord. Even if disrespectfully spoken, even if it is disrespectfully chanted, 
still it destroys volumes of sinful reactions so can you can you catch the merciful and powerful nature of the holy names why merciful because even if disrespectfully chanted if proper respect is not shown and powerful because it has the capacity to destroy all sinful reactions so are you able to follow why this is being mentioned if the holy name says you are very sinful how can you take shelter of me so they said no you have come to give shelter to people who are sinful janaranjanaya paramaksharakrita you have for this very reason that you have descended to this world that those who are sinful will take shelter of you and become free from the sinful reactions so i am definitely qualified because i am sinful i am qualified for your mercy because you you come to deliver those who are sinful क्लास विल बी इंग्लिश इंग्लिश समझते हैं क्लास इंग्लिश में है सुबह वाली अब लोग गाय को खाए लड्डू खिला सकते हैं बैठे ठीक ठीक एंड व्हाट इज द एविडेंस वी नो दैट अजामिल वाज चैंटिंग नारायण नारायण बट नॉट रिमेम्बरिंग नारायण ओ नारायण ओ असवर आर वर्शिपेबल लॉर्ड नो नॉट इन दैट वे यू वॉज नारायण हैव यू टेक फूड नारायण come from uh, your mother's lap to my lap like this completely oblivious to what he was chanting inka phone chhin li par phone phone chhin unko ha phone chhin kya dekhte rehte hain hum kya idhar dev mein padha rahe hain na aapko idhar 56 saal ke budhe ya 56 saal ke jawan aapko kuch nahi pata be careful in this Nikhilog, I am not holy name that you will be disrespectful to class, and I will not chastise. <laughs> I am Hitler number one. Be conscious of what we are reading. Tuva manada rada pi managu di ritam Nikhilog rata pa patilam vilumsi. Also, is not that a person has to chant with disrespect and for long time. Anada rada api disrespectfully and even very less. How much less even once? then also the holy name destroy all sinful reactions this is how it's been explained okay again i'll explain jay naam dheya o oh holy name muni vrinda geya he you are being chanted by munis who know what, who can discern matter from spirit and they have understood this is the highest spiritual substance bahut achhi vastu hai janaranjanay paramaksharakrite for giving pleasure to the people you have expanded yourself in this सिलेबल फॉर्म विच इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल फॉर्म तुम मना दरा दपी मना गुदीर तम इवन इफ यू आर चैंटेड स्लाइटली एंड इवन विद डिसरेस्पेक्ट निखलोग्र ताप पटिलिम विलुम बसी यू डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल ऑफ देयर होल मास ऑफ सिंफुल रिएक्शन इफ यू एक्सेप्ट द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड पटलीम एज मास एनी अदर पाप राशि ओके सो दस इज गुड सो पटलीम मीन्स पाप राशि द सेम थिंग वॉट यू आर सेंग patli means uh, whole mass of sinful reactions uh, that is all gone just like even you say krishna ladni mata ji is not playing the mridanga today so i'm just saying just one statement so krishna ladni is krishna and ladni is radharani's name so i get purified krishna ladni is, is not eating properly so i am i am talk i am referring to you but the name is being heard by those whose name is krishna and hiladni is it not That's why in Sadhu Samaj they say, "Give me Ram Ras, which means salt. Give me Sham Ras, which means chini, sugar." So even if they are addressing <laughs> to sugar and salt, they are chanting Ram like that. And even if you have to chastise, you say, "Hey Hari Bol, <laughs> Hey Hari Bol, where are you going? Hey Hari Bol, Hey Hare Krishna, where are you going?" So in that way also, if a person is chanting, his sinful reactions are. now a question can be raised why the sinful reactions have to be destroyed we have just now heard if a person is sinful he cannot surrender to krishna so you see very very mystical point the same instruction was given to shila by to lakha hira the prostitute by shila haridas thakur nirantar lo krishna naam karo tulasi sevan achirat pabe tumi krishna re charan you constantly chant the holy names and you serve tulsi devi and very soon you attain lotus feet of uh, the shelter of the lotus feet of lord shri krishna now what does it mean a person who takes shelter of lord uh, lord krishna's lotus feet 
has to do one thing accept what is favorable and accept what is and reject what is unfavorable but a sinful person can do that no he is addicted to sinful activity so he cannot do that so actually taking shelter of krishna means to live a pure life so even if a person is not pure prapa says in that purport even if the person is not pure and is not ready to surrender to krishna still when they chant hare krishna they become surrendered souls to krishna are you able to follow this very great secret when a person constantly chants hare krishna or regularly chants hare krishna his spirit of surrender towards the lord increases and you must have noticed in your preaching that you tell people uh, you can you chant hare krishna they can very say, easily say yes we can chant hare krishna can you do other niyam also can you take bath and then they will say no we cannot do all those things is it not all the devotees will agree with that then you say okay you chant hare krishna and as he keeps on chanting then he will ask you automatically koi aur bhi niyam hai kya is there any other other thing also because the holy name will destroy the sinful reactions and then naturally you will become enthusiastic to serve krishna this reference you can find in 1.7.9 himat bhagavatam jiv go swami kram sandarv commentary he says somewhere this we have discussed that several times 1.7.9 or 1.7.6 somewhere he said that krishna parama purusha the why the word krishna is being mentioned because krish and a these two syllables they also are mantra in itself by which the living entities disinclination towards krishna is destroyed so again and again chanting a person's sinful reactions are destroyed and becomes qualified to surrender, surrender to krishna So Shri Rupa Goswami is saying, I am very sinful, but if you make, if you purify me, then I will advertise your glories. Everyone will say, Oh, the holy name has delivered such a mm. sinful person, and and so you make me qualified, and I'll become a preacher of your glories. You will read this now. This is very nice. Am I going too fast? Are you all able to catch? Okay, fine. Commentary. Ashila Baldev with devotion. O holy name, O one sung by the sages, all glories to you. The implied meaning is, please reveal your excellence of your burning up all sinful reactions. The objection was, you are sinful. How can you take shelter? Oh, you you have the capacity to burn sinful reactions. So even if I am sinful, you please burn my sinful reactions. Note the above mentioned objection is responded to here. The idea is this, O holy name. please engage me in your service and burn up all of my sinful reactions then it will be possible for me to engage in firm and pure devotional service to you beautiful point is it not now we all know this that chanting hari krishna mantra is unlimitedly blissful but we are not unlimitedly blissful that's why we have to do so many other things also like yoga or anything else if we were unlimitedly blissful we would not care about anything else in this world agreed so now we understand that there are some obstacles in our heart which stop us from receiving the mercy of the holy name but these obstacles can't stop the holy name to destroy them so we pray to the holy name you please destroy all this obstacles which which stop me from serving you see like clouds are there so we are under the clouds but the sun is not under the clouds and the sun itself by its potency can dissipate the clouds and then we can bask as i say bask under the sunlight are you able to catch this point it's a very nice and humble mood that i am sinful my dear lord but by your potency you deliver me so that's how it is mentioned here because you have that potency upon being pronounced slightly even out of disrespect as while chanting you in reference to something other than you in jest and so on you destroy all terrible miseries including the subtle body now this is very interesting i'll first read the whole thing and then explain note since the subtle body is the source of all material miseries it is included in the list of miseries so you understand how on what uh, authority shila rupa ko sami saying we'll read further but let us understand this section <laughs> see in shrimad bhagavatam itself is mentioned yad vyaj hara it is 6.2.7 i believe and check yad vyaj hara 
when first time uh, ajamil spoke narayan now it is not mentioned when was the first time it was not when he was on the deathbed when was first time chanted the name narayan is it 6.2.7 yes अयम हि कृत निर्वेशो जन्म कोटि हंसामी यद व्याजहार विवशो नाम सस्तयन हरे अयम हि कृत निर्वेशो दिस अजामिल हैज डेफिनेटली डन ऑल द प्राइश्चित ऑल द टूर्नमेंट्स हाउ मेनी बर्ड्स जन्म कोटि अहंसामी ऑफ बिलियंस एंड बिलियंस ऑफ लाइफ टाइम्स वेन डिड यू डू If the Yamdutas ask, we have not seen him doing any prize shit, and you are saying a prize shit or atonement of billions of lifetimes. So he said, "Yad vyaja hara vivasha," without, without any intention. When he first time chanted, what nama swastayanam hare chanted the names of Lord Hari, which are the abode of all auspiciousness. The six point two point seven you can read at your own time. Shrimad Bhagavatam. Shri Lavishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, in commenting on this shloka, says that since it is said yad vyajahara when he first time he spoke, but they are yeah, the Vishnu Dutas are not mentioning when. So the so it has to be understood. It means when he first time chanted Narayan's name in giving his name giving ceremony. What is the name of the child? Narayan. That day itself, billions of lifetimes of sins were destroyed. But again, the objection can be raised. But we we still see that he was associating with the prostitute. He was still doing some sinful activities. So the acharya explained that you see one name destroy avidya also. Avidya, which is the root of all suffering. Avidya means ignorance of our swarupa. But just so that the others' opinion in this world may be preserved, the Lord's name will not manifest the results immediately. And the name uh, purifies the subtle body also what is the evidence evidence is 5135 sakradad dita a person who has been born in the family of dog eaters his body subtle body also changes as he chants even once krishna govinda ram mukund so see how how much less faith a person has who says you are only chanting four rounds are you able to follow what i'm trying to say if somebody tells you you are chanting only 16 rounds not it will not nothing will happen to you you cannot be delivered you are only chanting 16 rounds so there is some problem within him and trying to understand the glories of the holy name the shastra says one name destroys all karma so with that faith we should chant very sincerely if that chanting is done offenselessly one name itself destroys all karma so then again you will say prabhu ji why suffering is coming the suffering in the life of a devotee is coming by the arrangement of the lord not by karma it will not match your charts sometimes devotee says i am getting married because it's in the charts no 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 the chart cannot be determined by the chart whatever wala chart wala cannot because he does no chart uh, no astrologer can say veda ham samiti tani vartmanani charchuna bhavishyani cha bhutani mam tu vedana kashchana only krishna is the astrologer of devotees he knows how to give the karma by which he can bring his devotee closer and faster to him bas that much and you will see it can krishna can just keep the track similar to your charts but he is not obliged to do like that because one name itself destroys all karma So whatever is happening in the life of a devotee is directly arranged by the Lord. I have asked one devotee astrologer, and they and the, they had confirmed that in none of the charts is mentioned that you will be a Hari Krishna devotee. I don't know if it is possible to see. You may have a spiritual tendency like that. I don't know if they can also predict Hari Krishna mantra written there. I don't know offense to any astrologer. Is it like that? not possible even i had consulted a very great astrologer so called very great astrologer very great one he still he said in which which spiritual organization you are i said is con so he was not knowing which which spiritual organization i am that was beyond his comes his scope if he was knowing is all knowing or whatever then he would have known uh, i am from i am from is con or something or i am chanting hare krishna mantra 
He was not knowing that. So this is not as per karma. You can take the uh, note five one thirty five Shrimad Bhagavatam. Even if a person is born in dog eaters family and somehow that he chants Krishna, then immediately his body changes. Now there in the purport, Shila Prabhupada explains. If you remember, somebody may raise an objection, but we don't see the body changing. Okay, let us do an experiment. Okay, maybe you can have your phone and see your selfie. I can see you all. Let's chant very nicely. Hare, chant Hare. I look the same. Okay, maybe one more time we have to chant. Let's let us chant the whole mantra and see if our face changes. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. Okay, look at your. It looks the same. No, <laughs> this is cheating. Our body is not changing. So you please make a note and at your own time, maybe in this lifetime, we can read that section five one thirty five per part. So Prabhupad quotes Shri Sanatan Goswami that just like by a process, iron can be turned into gold. Similarly, tadha diksha vidhane na dujatam jayate niram. In similar way, by the process of initiation, a person is turned into a brahmana. The body will remain same. But it will be turned. Turn. Now, how it will be turned? So, there, Prabhupada explains that our gross body is based on our subtle body. My dear Zoom devotees, are you able to follow this? You have seen that. Uh, you say, let's look at somebody's face. Like, what happened? About down, lag rahe ho. <laughs> is it not? We say you look very down because his mind is a little depressed. That is shown on the, on the gross body also. So, because the Gross body is based on subtle body. Is it okay? And subtle body immediately chants changes by mantra. That's why it's mentioned that the body has changed. कुछ समझ में आ रहा है? Because the सूक्ष्म शरीर, the the subtle body immediately changes. And what is the evidence again? Because people need some validation, then they will have faith. What is the evidence that the subtle body has changed? So where are all those desires for which uh, behind which we were running? Project for you. Please try to find out your material desires. Is it not? अरे कहाँ गई? चुरी कर ली. You can't even pinpoint which date your material desires were removed. Now Keshav Sakha Prabhu is saying is still there. So why are you why you are here? <laughs> why you? अब देखो गुस्सा करने वाली बात करते हैं ना. You always speak something which will increase my pitta. If material desires were there, why you are in Vrindavan? So is it not a spiritual desire? You want to remove your material desire. Is it not a spiritual desire? So, so see, there, there are very subtle point to have material desires and to not desire material desires is as a different thing. I may have lust, but I don't want lust. Is a different thing. So that is. So you were you when you were young. You are still young, but when you were younger. <laughs> So, were you desiring to have your material desires destroyed? Not understanding. When you were not Krishna conscious, not in bhakti, then also you were desiring. See, that that time you were not even desiring to remove those desires. Are chai pite hain, vi? Chai pite the? Yes. See, so many people were very addicted to tea. Krishna, if Krishna would have asked us. T or me, we would have said T, <laughs> not not Krishna. So, but you see, it has gone. This, so, has your not has your subtle body not changed? We have a hankering to hear Shrimad Bhagavatam. Has not the subtle body changed? See. Okay. So, the including the subtle body also get destroyed. This is also Evidence is there in Shrimad Bhagavatam, third canto. I cannot immediately quote the shloka. Jareti Ashu Kosha. This kosha, this mind, the subtle body is like a covering, and Jareti it becomes dissolved by bhakti slowly, slowly. Okay. So all the sufferings are destroyed. And now you also know that any suffering which is coming upon us is because of sinful reactions. So sinful reactions get destroyed, and suffering get destroyed also. 
and if still you don't feel you don't can't have faith just look at your mind now and then see how peaceful it is now compared to what it was earlier except on sunday my dear devotees do you agree with that just compare yourself with other people how much they are suffering and it is not that they are always in want of money even if they have money they are suffering 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 how many of you feel are how many of you feel that you are relaxed in or you don't get affected when you see other people are materially advancing okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 oh kesha sir ka approval good okay. <laughs> okay very good right? so is it not a big removal of suffering see we when we ac accept a process certain results are immediately there so uh, experiencing that you will have faith that other results will also come do you agree it's okay not not there it's okay since the subtle body is a source of all material miseries it is included in the list of miseries so subtle body also gets dissolved so keep on chanting hari krishna mantra this is stated on the basis of smriti text such as this one which is from shrimad bhagavatam this is from 6.2.14 very famous shloka please chant after me speak in the mic sanketyam parihasyam va शोभम हेलन में वैकुंठ नाम ग्रहण वैकुंठ नाम ग्रहण अशेषागर विदु अडवांस ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस्ट एडवांस्ड नॉट नॉट चिल्लू मिलू नॉट नॉट द नॉट स्मॉल वंस एडवांस्ड देर इज एडवांस्ड समझ लेना चाहिए लर्नेड दे आर स्पीकिंग दिस advanced transcendentalist know that chanting of the holy name of the lord as an as designation or jokingly as musical instrument entertainment or neglectfully neutralizes the effect of sinful life sanketyam means indicating something else where is that krishna hotel krishna hotel is there sanket sanket you understand indicating something else we say uh Krishna Hotel is there. Hotel Krishna International. Where is Hotel Krishna International? Hotel Krishna International is in this side. So, <laughs> a person is not thinking of Krishna; he is thinking about the hotel, Pari Hasyam. So, I can give an example. I was taking food. I will not say prasadam. I was taking food in the first year, and I was like known that I was a Hare Krishna devotee. And one of my friend, and he came in front of me, say Hare Krishna, Hare Rama. So he was making fun of me. So very nice, very nice. Keep on continuing. Then he became ashamed and he left. But even if it is chanted Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna in jest, just your pari hasam. Hasam means laughing, and pari hasam is like, eh, hey, Krishna devotees are like this. Aren't they? Hey, dekho, dekho, dekho. These Krishna devotees are going. See how they are looking like this. Now, even if they are making fun, still their sinful reactions are going away. Can you? Can, this is un unimaginable mercy. Stobham. What does stobha mean? Stobha means to complete a poetry or some kind of music. Just like they have a. Uh, I have not heard, but Sanak Sanatan Prabhu told that it is. Um, ha, um, like this. Dham maro dham, mitis gaye gham, bolo subha sham, Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. <laughs> so, so now this is just to just to fulfill the whole pad. that means to fulfill the whole poetry so it can be sung nicely it is chanted for entertainment purposes or even if a person is singing for musical entertainment only so then also and helanam means indifference hare krishna hare krishna hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare krishna complete indifference even then it works how much it works what works vaikunth naam only the name of vaikuntha only the name of lord vishnu grahanam grahanam means accept just like very simple i am accepting this water
नॉट इट ग्रहण क्या कर पानी ग्रहण कर रहे हैं इवन हिंदी से दैट डू दैट प्रभु इज एक्सेप्टिंग वाटर सो लेट अस एक्सेप्ट द होली नेम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो इफ वी एक्सेप्ट द होली नेम वट विल हैपन अशेष अघ हरम अशेष अघ अघ मीन्स सिंफुल रिएक्शंस एंड अशेष मीन्स अनलिमिटेड वेरी गुड अशेष मीन्स अनलिमिटेड अनलिमिटेड सिंफुल रिएक्शंस आर डिस्ट्रॉयड एंड दिस इज नॉट स्पोकन बाय यू और मी और एनी सिंपल बॉय विदु हु एडवांस ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस्ट एंड दैट्स वाई दे प्रिस्क्राइब चैंटिंग एंड नॉट सिंपली रिमेंबरिंग द होली नेम्स सिमरण करने के लिए नहीं बोलते हैं बिकॉज वी हैव नो वी कॉन्ट ट्रस्ट माइंड इन कलयुगा स्पेशली एंड दिज अ श्लोका आई कैन नॉट इमीडिएटली कोट बट दिज अ श्लोका विच सेज चैंटिंग इज सुपीरियर टू रिमेंबरिंग वाई बिकॉज चैंटिंग कैन बी डन विद अ प्योर और इम प्योर हार्ट अ प्योर हार्टेड पर्सन कैन ऑल्सो चैंट एंड एन इम प्योर हार्टेड पर्सन कैन ऑल्सो चैंट द इम प्योर हार्टेड पर्सन विल चैंट एंड ही विल थिंक ऑफ इम प्योर थिंग्स Do you agree? A person who is lusty for anything, if chants Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, he will think of something else. But because he is chanting Hare Krishna, his sinful reactions will go away. Is it very clear? Very encouraging. Very encouraging. So, out of your sixteen rounds, if you have chanted properly, how many names have been wasted? My dear devotees, are you sleeping? My dear Krishna devotees. If you have chanted full sixteen rounds, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. I am just saying about chanting. If we have not made any mistake like this, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Rama Hare Hare, Rama Hare Hare, Rama Hare Hare, Rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Hare. So that is a difficult thing because many people do that. But if a actually a person has chanted all syllables clearly, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. So out of them, which names have been spoken in vain? What is the answer? Zero. Whether your mind is has whether you heard them or not heard them, if you chant properly, they will have the effect. This is very difficult to accept. This is very difficult to accept. But you see, it's very simple. Many times we drink something which is not good for our health. Just like suppose in the night, don't try it at home. But in the night, suppose you accept curd in this changing season. Oh wow! Tomorrow you'll have fever. Now you may be eating something else or whatever. But if you don't know the potency, is still the is still that object will work. Do you agree with that? Like yesterday, somebody said served me dahi in the evening, but out of love. I said I won't be able to digest this love, so I did not take it. So now somebody will take it, grahan, accept it, and that thing will work. How many times in your life it has you have experienced that you have said in your mind this thing I am eating, nothing will happen, and suddenly everything or some major thing has happened to your health. My dear devotees, has it happened to you? Yeah. Like in the uh, pani puri, or now especially like bananas. Night time you take bananas, and then next day you have you become a banana. <laughs> you, you get the nose is running like that. It's very cold. Have you not? I have an experience. One time, I, one of my friend gave me some kulfi, uh, prasadam kulfi, and then my mind was saying, "Is prasadam kulfi? You can have at least three more." And for fifteen days, the the throat was gone. So what I'm trying to say, no matter what is our bhava. the the nature of the object will act so that's what is mentioned here that's why please in never in your preaching you say that oh you are chanting your mind is not that is all useless then our preaching is useless we are we are how to say vilifying vilifying is the word we are vilifying the holy name the holy name acts no matter how you chant so if a person chants with all this disrespect and he gets such a great benefit then what to talk of chanting with respect oh krishna is krishna's holy name and non different from krishna and like that like so is this shloka understood 
in any way you chant so you you help people to chant even 11 times some uh, some devotees were chanting 16 rounds now and they started with 11 mahamantras so you should never never and also whenever you train a person you say okay you fix up one round and you do every day and then his mind gets trained and he's getting purified then he chants two rounds three rounds four rounds but they have to be maintained and chanted clearly don't Please give them a caution and you also make a caution. In terms of increasing the rounds, do not disturb your pronunciation. I am repeating again. Just to increase your rounds because rounds will not purify us. The names purify us. If the rounds were purifying, we don't have to chant. We can just make 16 rounds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> the rounds are not purifying. The holy name is purifying. So you please train them to chant nicely simply by chanting that's what it means simply by chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare and if you actually hear also then what to do then it's more more nice fine so this shows there is no faith on the holy name sanketyam parihasam sthubam helanam in all those four stages there is no there is no uh, faith but somehow they just chanted, just like Helenam also is there in that sense. Some Muslims will chant, hey Haram Khur or Haram, Haram. They are very much fond of this syllable, Haram, Haram. But the Lord accept is as hey Ram. Oh, he's calling me. <laughs> ha, Ram. Haram means Ha Ram, hey Ram. This has been explained by Shila Haridas Thakur. This is Srimad Bhagavatam 6.2.14. Okay, next one. This is from another shloka, another um, grantha, another evidence. Parihasopahasadhyer. 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 Vishnur nama grananti ye. Vishnur nama grananti ye. Kritarthaste pi manuja. Manuja, if you be her Namo Namaha, even those men who utter the holy name of Vishnu while joking, ridiculing, and so on become perfect. My repeated obeisances here unto them too. Parihas Upahas. Can you see these two words? Parihas means making fun, and Upahas means ridiculing someone. Adi means in, in, in any other way which is which can be called as neglectful chanting. Vishnur nam grinantiye, anyone who may be very sinful also, anyone who chants Vishnu, Krishna like that, kritarthaste api, they also become perfect. Manuja means the, those human beings become perfect because only human beings can chant Hare Krishna. Te bhyo pi iho namo namaha, my obeisances to, even to those people who are chanting with unseriousness now see that's why we don't want to hear shastra because we want to take the license of disrespecting any devotee or every devotee who may be sincere chanter also so now you say prabhu you are a double standard person which i agree i am but you chastise us left and right and we are chanting 16 rounds just to make sure that you keep on chanting 16 rounds our life not that you are wrong in some other way. Because many times, I give an example, I give an example. In our Japa report group, one devotee was waking up at 3.30 and finishing his round at 11.30 p.m. What is that? Can you match it? Not a.m. Waking up 3.30 and finishing at 11.30 p.m. What is this now? This equation I cannot resolve. Is he chanting like maybe one, or I don't know, 180 rounds or something like that? I don't have no idea. 16 rounds should not take that much of time. Sir Prabhu, what are you doing? Sir Prabhuji, we have to go at 6 o'clock for Harinam Sankirtan to invite more and more people. I'm like, okay, that's fine, but you first finish your 16 rounds, then you go. So a very sincere devotee, but he see how the mind goes in different direction. One of my one of the students was preparing for some competitive exam. So he was very nice, I was I'm proud of the devotee, very nice student. So he was he used to chant 16 rounds. Suddenly some idea came from, you know, Ma and Ya. Maya Devi gave an idea. 
maybe you can chant eight rounds in the morning and eight rounds in the evening and you know where the eight rounds in the evening went <laughs> they were not chanted and because we cannot immediately perceive how much benefit we are going to get by those eight rounds or how much how much we are going to lose by dropping those eight rounds very easy to drop eight rounds not easy to drop five thousand rupees Have you ever lost 15,000 rupees? I can remember that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I can see a devotee who lost 15,000 rupees. And there was like so much shock, how to say, lamentation. I lost 15,000 rupees. Where are those 15,000 rupees? This and that. But suppose somebody drops on 15,000 names. Ah, okay, tomorrow we'll do. I don't know. We don't lament like that, is it not? So all the chastisement is there. So that devotees can become enthusiastic chanter of the holy name. Otherwise, ultimately, in any, any way you chant, we're going to make progress. The idea is, if a person is chanting like this, he should be respected. Then what to talk of a seri- what to talk of a person who's a serious chanter of the holy name? Not that we are supposed to chant in this way only, but even if a person is chanting in this way, he gets amazing benefits. Then what to talk of a person who's chanting seriously? How much more the Lord will love him? The second quote above is from Sri Narayana Vyustava, quoted in Hari Bhakti Vilas. Srila Sanatan Goswami has remarked in this regard, Adya Shabdat Sanket Stobhadi. In this shloka, the word is Parihaso Upahasa Adyei. Adyei means etc. So that means which negates the other four ways, other, other three ways by which a person can chant the holy name. That means Sanket, Stobh and Hela, like that. And so on here refers to chanting the holy name to indicate something other than the Supreme Lord, chanting for musical entertainment and so on. The idea is this, even those who utter the holy name of Vishnu while joking, ridiculing or chanting to indicate something other than the Supreme Lord and so on become perfect in their endeavors. Now I give an example which is given by His Holiness uh, God Krishna Maharaj. You are saying that in Barsana and other places, when they are going to have darshan, especially in the early morning hours, the kids will pass stool <laughs> along the road and then they will see the sadhu says, Ladhe Ladhe Baba! <laughs> Ladhe Ladhe. They won't say Radhe Radhe because they are very young and they are not in a pure condition when they are saying this, is it not? <laughs> and they say Ladhe Radhe and even that is accepted by Krishna. They don't say Radhe Radhe. We don't have to chant Ladhe Ladhe but the kids are chanting in that way. Very powerful process and very hope giving because our minds are not in a control but tongues can very easily be controlled for chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Let me see if the theme is changing after this. Ah, I'll just, how much I can read? It's a long one. I'll just read this one and I'll stop. Pramadas api sanspristo. Please chant. Pramadas api sanspristo. Pramadas api sanspristo. Yathana lakano dahe. Yathana lakano dahe. Tatoshta. Tatoshta putta samspristam. Tatoshta putta samspristam. Hari nam dahed agham. Hari nama dahed agham. Hari nama dahed agham. Yes. Just as a spark of fire burns simply on being touched even by mistake, the holy name of Hari burns sinful reactions merely on being touched by the lips. This third quote above is a statement of Kharshi. Kashi Khanda is, is quoted in Hari Bhakti Vilas 11.324. So what do you understand by this? Pramadas. Pramad, you understand? We can very easily understand Pramad. Pramad means we are not, we are absent-minded. You understand this phrase? I think Zoom devotees would understand. Absent-minded? Prabhuji, kya kaha? That is the meaning of absent-minded. That we are... What is the question? Sometimes, yeah, we have seen that we ask question. That's how devotees answering. Then I ask, do you remember the question? No, Prabhuji, please repeat the question again. So without even hearing the question, is answering. Have you not noticed many times? Huh? Absoluted, absolute absent-mindedness. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare. Ay, mala ho gaya. My mala is done. Have you had that experience? And actually on Zoom, it is much less because as soon as you open your eyes, 
you see devotees chanting very sincerely have you not noticed that it is very less now if you actually chant on zoom people think that they are distracted they are distracted from their pramad i'll tell you when you are alone if you are not very serious chanter how you will chant hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari have you not seen many times some matajis have got chastised they thinking about the sabji and the chanting hari krishna hari krishna krishna <laughs> and even the hand is like this have you all noticed even the hand comes like this and they chanting hari krishna hari krishna 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 i'm not saying that all of them but i think many devotees have noticed the the, the hand will be like this and they hari krishna hari krishna 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 okay so 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 that's complete pramad where they are not even aware what they are doing so say pramadas api complete absent mindedness api sanspishto yatha anala kan dahit that, that even if a person unknowingly in an absent minded way touches fire anala means fire and kana means the spark of fire if it is touched even absent mindedly will it burn or not did we ever get burn in life yes so did we put our fire put our finger consciously in the fire nobody does that it tave se to jale honge kabhi aap this that on which you make ch- chapatis sometimes you think it is not hot and then you touch <laughs> for a fraction of second and immediately it burns hai na like that or sometimes you know, this uh, you have put oil for heating and then suddenly you have put water in that it has happened and suddenly that uh, the ghee will come up which is very hot and this that spot will burn in your skin so it will not ask you unknowingly you have you have touched me you will not burn <laughs> okay tatha osht putas sanspristam simply by touching with your your lips just be conscious let us chant hare krishna and see what is in working hare krishna oh, no let's be conscious of your lips and tongues tongue hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare are you able to focus this that we are using our tongue as also the lips and also some some of your teeth like that prabhupa says this the upper and lower lip must be used this is an organ of our body this is an indriya and it should be used in serving the holy name we are so sometimes lazy that we don't even want to move the lips hari ram hari ram hari ram 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 why i am repeating again and again i am seeing the same problem again and again we are so lazy i mean lazy is good but not so lazy that we can't even chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare i don't know how many of you actually start thinking about it but one name has unlimited benefit how much how much care should be there to chant hare krishna i am becoming more and more conscious because i remember these glories every day when i chant so it actually takes me more than like two and a half almost and if i chant non stop it will take me two and a half hours dikkat kya hai anything in this whole throughout the day we do and we do it with all earnestness but does it give us unlimited benefit no so when we are chanting why should we not chant peacefully kuch samajh mein aa raha hai any business you are doing ashutosh dubey prabhu do you have unlimited salary no i know the answer <laughs> prabhu ji whatever i have even that you demand too much if i would have unlimited then then i have no problem but somehow that i don't have unlimited salary no one gives you unlimited salary and just tell me how much effort and energy we put in those endeavors is it not no one gives unlimited salary and this is unlimited benefit is being given and we want to finish this off so think about it that's why we should hear the glories again and again then we will say oh we are so fortunate that we are getting the opportunity to chant hari krishna like you know if you can wake up in the morning say yes <laughs> yes i woke up at 3:30 now i can serve the holy name nicely and if you wake up at 7:30 in the morning then you should, you have you should have a different emoji you know <laughs> what is this my time my exclusive time with meeting with radha krishna is gone any one who can chant his rounds in the morning will always have smiling emoji you know hey my 16 rounds are done benefit has gone to you okay so 
if anyone ever tells you you are chanting but your mind is not there then he says no we don't want we don't care about the mind we just care about the tongue if the tongue is engaged we are getting purified we'll read the note and finish so and so remember no, not note we have read now this last last section and so remembering your own influence purify me these all these quotations have been given to show that lord you even if in any way you are chanted you purify the chanter of millions of lifetimes of sins so even if i am sinful you please purify me and make me worthy to serve you so and so remembering your own influence purify me why should i purify you i will thus become a preacher of your glory this is the implied meaning if you purify me then i will say you see how sinful i was and how by the mercy of holy name i have been purified then others will also take your take holy name and your business will improve you have come for janaranjanaya paramakshi for for giving bliss to people but people won't accept unless there is a good customer review do you agree verified what is it verified past verified customer or something like that so i am a verifying verified customer i was very sinful so if you make me nice person then i'll say oi i was very sinful but chanting holy name all my sinful activities have gone away so others will also take your mercy when you purify me people will notice your glory of purifying even those with sinful reactions got it hari bhai and it is actually happen happening one person was constantly drinking not the nectar of the holy name but uh, drinking liquor and he was telling me 365 days of the year he was drinking like this good quality to go to go to hellish planets so now he has given up all those things so he himself is saying he himself is experiencing oh by chanting holy name my all sinful reactions have gone away so others also are getting impressed are inka ho sakta hai if he can get rectified then why not me they will then take shelter of you and thus i preach your glory got it so that's why he says you purify me the meaning of this statement becomes clear by observing how the sail read tomorrow how jagai and madhai became delivered by the holy name uh, through shriman chatana mahaprabhu and how they themselves became an example of preaching the glories of the holy name that we'll discuss tomorrow so hope you relished this commentaries and understood something let's we'll stop here श्री हरि नाम प्रभु की जय श्री प्रभु पाद की जय निताय गौर प्रमानंदे टू क्लियर वन थिंग जस्ट सही पीपल आर चैंटिंग इनिशियली 16 राउंड्स वंस दे आर कमिंग एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम दे जस्ट कम टू लाइक यू हैव जस्ट स्टेटेड द एग्जांपल फॉर एट राउंड्स दैट मींस दे डोंट हैव द फेथ एंड दे डोंट आर सीरियस इन ऑन होली नेम सी द पॉइंट इज व्हेन वी डोंट हियर शास्त्र देन द फेथ इन द होली नेम डिक्रीजेस again if we chant krishna by simply chanting we don't understand that so much benefit is accruing to us i give you a simple example you know about uh, anulom vilom pranayam i take this is called anulom vilom now simply doing this can we have any idea that it can purify 72000 nadis of our body any idea by seeing this maybe azum devotees can understand this i did some pranayam can simply by seeing this pranayam you can in any way in all any one of us can guess that it purifies 72000 nadis of our body now if i ask you does it actually purify 72000 nadis uh, question is different now does it really purify 72000 nadis has it been purifying the 72000 nadis from the first time you did anulom vilom pranayam we all have cervical spondylitis they will say no na, yes kuch nahi kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha hai from the first time you were doing this pranayam it was purifying all your nadis but we have to hear the ayurveda or whatever yoga shastras that this is the benefit you're going to get and if you keep on doing you will feel the health benefits are there shastras are not speaking untruth so but but those who don't hear shastra their faith will go down just like even for encouraging myself to do pranayam i time to time hear the glories what is the benefit of anulom vilom pranayam so many benefits then again i become inspired to do it again and again because regular 
इवन रेगुलरली यू डू यू कांट सी द रिजल्ट इमिडिएटली नहीं सम वैलिडेशन हैज टू बी देयर सो वेन वी डोंट हियर शास्त्र देन विस इज नहीं भी करेंगे तो क्या फर्क पड़ता है इज इट ओके सो सो दैट्स वाई चैंटिंग शुड गो अलॉन्ग विद हियरिंग वेन वी हियर शास्त्र देन वी गेट फेथ एंड वेन वी डू चैंटिंग हरे कृष्ण मंत्र स्लोली स्लोली थिंग्स विल बिकम क्लियर आर प्लीज रेज योर हैंड इफ यू आर एडवांस ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस्ट ओके दैट्स गुड वी आर नॉट एडवांस ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस्ट एंड वी हैव जस्ट नॉट एड एडवांस ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस्ट से दैट इन एनी वे द होली नेम इज चैंटेड इट डिस्ट्रॉय सिंफुल रिएक्शन वेरी सिंपल इफेक्ट द मोर आर सिंफुल रिएक्शन विल गो अवे द मोर विल बिकम फिक्सड इन भक्ति समहाउ यू विल सी द इज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग कन्विक्शन आई मस्ट डू भक्ति मुझे भक्ति करनी है if our if our sinful reactions in our life have got destroyed we will naturally have this inclination i must do bhakti i must do bhakti i must do bhakti natural faith and shastra will increase so both are going hand to hand the shastras inspire us to chant hari krishna and the holy name inspires more faith on the shastra is it all relatable with our zoom devotees also very good so okay we'll stop